as I said in my other video, in this video I want to show you uh, that you can use Honda Prelude piston rings for the Toyota 4AG small port pistons. Piston rings for this particular piston model can be a bit hard to find and I looked around on eBay and elsewhere on the internet and it was really really hard to find uh, good quality piston rings. Uh, after some research I managed to to find out that actually you can use Honda Prelude as you can see here. Uh, this is a piston ring set and MPR this is an MPR piston ring set. This is a high quality piston ring set. MPR is a is a well known really good brand and is actually the OEM supplier to many Japanese uh, automobile manufacturing companies. As you can see it says Honda here and this is actually a set for the for the um, third generation of Honda Prelude. Uh, this this uh, this um, particular piston ring set is um, is fits on the Honda Preview. This is the two uh, two thousand cc two point oh um, sixteen valve Honda engine. How come you can use this piston ring set on a on a on a on a piston that is act, that actually comes from a one point six uh, liter engine? Uh, the fact is that these engines have the same bore. Both are eighty one millimeters bore but the Honda engine has a longer stroke. However, the, the piston ring set is basically the same and is interchangeable between those pistons. Now I'm going to make some checks. Actually, to prove my point, I'm going to measure the oil, uh, the oil grooves and the, the piston ring grooves with a, with a thickness gauge. Here we have a thickness gauge. And I'm going to measure the piston rings uh, with, a, with a vernier caliper to see if they actually fit. Okay, now I'm going to take out here we have the oil, the oil uh, rings, and these are the, inside are the compression rings. I'll put these aside. And I'll take out one compression ring. This is the, as you can see on the packaging, this is the first compression ring. I'll try not to ruin the packaging because I'm going to actually use this on my engine build. And I'm going to take out just one. Here we have one. This is the first compression ring. I'll put them right next to, right next to there, so I don't mix them up. This is the second compression ring. Actually, they are pretty different. So this one is quite thick, and I'm sure I will be mixing them up. And I'll take. Um, You actually need this is a set. The oil rings is a set. I'll take everything out to show you. As you can see, it comes with these oil scrapers. Total of four of these. They compress, and it has eight of these rings. So one goes above the oil scraper into the, the ring groove, and one goes below the oil scraper. So I will take two, two of these, and one oil scraper. Put this aside, and that should provide us with an accurate measurement of the piston rings and the grooves. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is actually measure the, the piston ring grooves. I'm going to use a thickness gauge for this. This one's a bit hard to get out. There we go. So, as you can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Uh, each of these thickness gauge leaves has a marking on it and it corresponds to the number of millimeters uh, to the number of millimeters that uh, each of these leaves stands for so you combine the leaves until you get a perfect fit for the for the piston ring groove so for the first piston ring I'm going to take a 1 millimeter blade and a 0 0.2 millimeter blade, which is 1.2 millimeter total. I'm going to squish them together and I'm going to fit them into the first piston ring groove. Squish them at the very end so you are sure they are completely they are tight together. And as you can see, they can fit. 
but just enough to prove that nothing else fit and this is an exact measurement I'll take a 0.05 millimeter leaf and put it together with the 1.5 millimeter leaf and I'm going to try to squish it in into the piston ring groove but it cannot be done it doesn't fit and I don't want to damage the I don't want to force it it should go in very snugly without pressure but but also uh, there should be no movement once you stick the thickness gauges in so this is the first piston ring group is 1.2 millimeters now I'm going to take the vernier caliper and measure the first piston ring and put them in like so and squeeze it we have to be able to take not too hard so we can take the piston ring out, did I damage it? No and as you can see here and as you can see this is exactly 1.2 millimeters on the vernier caliper just the, the, so the thickness of the piston ring corresponds to the thickness of the piston ring groove in the piston itself okay uh, let us now measure the second compression ring the second compression ring is actually a, a bit thicker than the first compression ring and I just realized that it's easier to first measure the compression ring and then select the appropriate number of thickness thickness gauge or eaves so I'll make a measurement and as you can see do we have the proper zoom, Mr. Cameraman? Yes, we have a confirmation from the cameraman. As you can see on the Vernier scale, uh, the second compression ring is actually exactly 1.5 millimeters thick. So, let's confirm that uh, with the piston and the thickness gauge. I'll take a, take a one millimeter leaf and a half a millimeter leaf and squeeze them right into the second ring uh, second ring yeah space and it's a snug fit just to confirm let's take a 0.05 millimeter leaf and try to squeeze it in and that will not fit so the second compression ring corresponds accurately to the second piston ring gap. Okay, now for the last measurement. Uh, it's the oil ring groove. Mm, measuring this is actually going to be a bit a bit more difficult as we have three things to measure and we have to, I do not want to install anything on the piston. I'm going to leave that to the, to the mechanics. So I'm just going to try to hold these things together and they are quite flimsy to be honest with you. Uh, they could actually be used for one of those magician tricks. And one with a, yeah, never mind. Failed humor. So I'll take them together uh, and try to measure these with the, with the thing, with the vernier thing. And I know they should be somewhere around. In Okay, and according to the Bernier scale, exactly 2.8 millimeters, as you can see on the Bernier scale. Oh, that was hard. Now, let's check the oil ring groove. Let's get our trusty thickness gauge again, and let's get uh, let's get one millimeter leaf. Let's get a 0 0.9 millimeter leaf. And let's get a, let's get an eight. That should be one point seven. And one that's two point seven. And let's get a zero point ten. Okay, and these have to be squished really, 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 really tight to get this right. And let's try and fit them in. And they are a very snug fit indeed. Actually, kind of hard to pull out.
and I'm sure the 0.05 leaf won't fit because this was very snug indeed. It's kind of hard to move this many leaves around. Let's loosen the little wheel a bit. Okay, let's try it with the 0.05 thing. And it will, of course, not fit at all. And as you can see, the piston ring sizes are a perfect match for the for the piston ring grooves on the small board pistons. Now, it, when you look around on eBay or maybe other sites, you will also see the specifications of the piston rings uh, for the Honda Prelude and the specifications uh, of the piston of the small board piston itself. They are a match. I have also researched around in forums. Several people have successfully used Honda Prelude piston rings on the small board piston. They ran their engines. The, most of the engines are still running well. It works. It fits. And yeah, these rings are easy to find for the Honda Prelude. They are very inexpen inexpensive. And you can get them from quality brands like NPR. And yeah. I hope this helps you if you were struggling to find the piston rings for your small board pistons. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy 4AG.